Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think I'm gonna take this path right here through Monty's mansion because it looks like it's off the beaten path. This is, it's got some nice architecture here. Well, it's truly a Monty mansion, that is for certain. Alright, we have fully infiltrated the mansion. It's like a ghost house background combined with Custom foreground. Oh boy! <laughs> Safe here, right? Because it's got a coin? Okay. <laughs> Always look for the coins. Coins are your friend. Most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes they're positioned in ways that are just for the greedy. And you don't want to be greedy because you could lose. Everything Ooh, safe. Oh, yeah. We are golden. I'm like this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like threading the needle there. I'm sure glad I have a cape. Whoa! <laughs> that was really, really close. Uh, I should probably get moving while I see they're low. Okay. Anything coming? Anything? Okay. Mm, wipe it out! If I didn't have the cape, that those uh, lava lotuses could be a whole other issue. E -yo! Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Oh shoot! I thought I was gonna be done throwing. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! That's a pretty mean segment there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm not used to the jumping variety being here. Mm. It's been a lot of baseball throwing lately and football kicking. Ooh Get up here. Uh, up and around. <laughs> oh, no! Get in the holes where it's safe. Gotta get over here. Ooh Holy moly. Get it? Holy moly. <laughs> this is pretty fun. <laughs> Okay, good. Just wait for the moles to move. Door. Excellent. Oh, well, now they're popping up the upper levels. They've learned how to climb. They're mowing monuments. This is not good. This is not good. Nee. Okay. Oh, you're not gonna drop, okay. You're, yeah, you're red. I sort of pan panic thinking the Koopa was gonna fall down, but nope, nope, reds are safe. Uh, do you ever... Hmm... Hmm... Oh boy... <laughs> I gotta do one of these! <laughs> e. E. Watch for the Monty's! Get over here in the corner... Yes... Uh, come on, turn around, turn... Okay, I, I don't mind if you despawn, that works too... <laughs> e. so, I'm always scared to drop downwards and that... That box kind of mean. It's like tempting you. It's like you can't get this unless you have a really, really good aim. E. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, no. <laughs> Just gonna skip that. E. Time myself well. Ooh, ha. Ho. 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 <laughs> Midpoint. Uh, wow. Is there one on every stair? Good lord! <laughs> ah! Okay, midpoint. I'm right next to the boss door, so I don't believe it's actual boss. Yeah, I figured there's gonna be another one of these things. Alright, so we're mole riding. Mole riding is the name of the game, huh? With mega moles. With their shades of coolness. They're like, deal with it, bro. You're riding us, whether you like it or not. Uh, I bet being small is actually going to be beneficial here. Uh, should I have gotten on it earlier? Maybe, maybe not? No, I guess not. It's fine. Alright, here we go. More to come. More moles. Who would have guessed in the mole mansion? Gotta get on it, don't I? Yep! Okay, <laughs> that was close. I don't like being that close to the edge of the screen because stuff could pop out, but it seems to be designed relatively fair. E. 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 Wow, shoot. 
Charging chucks are not the most predictable things to bounce on, but you can get the hang of them. All right, one on every stair, right, 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 right. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Yeah, okay. This is too much patience from our own liking. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, moles. Yeah, I don't think it really matters if I have a power-up or not here, because uh, once I lose a mole, it's over anyway. <laughs> so yeah, well, maybe not. I mean, I could you know, run on the spikes if I had a power-up briefly, but it's still not all that helpful. Oh, come back here. Come back here. Good mole. Moly moly. Holy moly. Mm. Also, it's kind of hard to predict if you should be on them early or not. Like, if you if you should get on them as soon as you see them, or if you should be, um, ugh, or if you should be like waiting for them to bounce back off the edge of the screen or something like that. All right, charging chuck. And I can let you move. It's gonna be my strategy here, even though it's gonna take a little while here. Except over here, because I don't have time to wait. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to get on the mole right away. Yep. Okay. And okay. I would not want to be there when issues are coming. E. Please do not kill the moles coming my way. Very much love that. Oh, amazing flying hammer, brother. That's not a good sign, because they could cause issues. Riding angel blocks also could cause issues. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, you don't like riding angels! <laughs> I mean, I suppose that they're my only hope to get across there, but that's... Still not very confidence building. Oh. <laughs> I also don't like jumping between spikes. Do I have to do this without anything? Oh, jeez. <laughs> More of this. More doom. How much longer do I have to endure this? It's like a cry from the pressure. <laughs> it's just scarier than any horror game I've ever played. <laughs> it's like one slip up and it's over. Come on, moly moly. We can do this. You are my friend. This is why I can do this. Okay. I wonder why they like walking on spikes so much. Maybe it's good for their souls or something like that. Like it's. They have feet issues and it's, it's like a massage for their feet. Oh no! <laughs> Not like that. Oh, I'm done! Yeah! <laughs> that was fun. I know I say that a lot. I know I said that I say it a lot before, but come on now. It really is fun. That lets me skip all the way over to Koopa Lake 2. Um, as much as I want to do the levels in order, ghost houses could have a secret exit. So I think I'm actually going to skip ahead and do Koopa Lake 2. Because <laughs> I think uh, if, if it does have a secret exit, if, I, well actually maybe it doesn't have a secret exit, I forgot. But uh, I'm just going to do this one here. Even, even though it's going to be slightly out of order, just just for the sake of safety. And then I'll look into... Um, well, I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say I don't have to look into uh, something of a, as a secret exit, because I can tell if something has a secret exit as I play it and remember the level. Oh, it's... Is this... Oh, yeah, moving floor. What? 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 Why is there moving floor there? That's weird. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, I don't really think I have to look into secret exits when I don't have when I'm not pressed for time or anything like that on said level uh, so yeah anyway this seems like a pretty straightforward level so far so far and 
I'm kind of confused why we're in a castle. Just out of the blue here. <laughs> uh, what is this? Looks like an alternate path that leads back through here. Hmm. Maybe I missed uh, like a secret route or something like that. Maybe. Could be. Might be. Springy things. Hopefully I won't have to deal with them. Oh shoot. I didn't know where I was supposed to land there. <laughs> so I just kind of froze. Okay. Anything good in these boxes? Like, I know I can hit them a little bit off the side here. Or hit them and duck back into where I'm going. Eh! Me. It's kind of risky because you could fall. Nothing worth getting in there. Unless maybe that bottom box had something, but I have no means to hit that box. Just follow the plants. Yes. Good. I bet you go in this one because there's no plant in that one. Alright. And... You have to be big to get the midpoint. Really? <laughs> Is there any power up here that I could use to, like, come back through here? By the way, moving floor here, too. Keep your eyes peeled on the ground. And keep your eyes peeled for a power up. <laughs> oh! Is there one here? Yes! Okay, I cleared the wet pathway, so I should be able to happily get to the midpoints yeah all right that's that's kind of a mean midpoint it's like it's tempting you with its checkpoint goodness and I'm jittering back and forth there because I'm in the center of uh, both treadmills look at that see that one's going in one direction the other is going and they're both leading uh, in this to the same central point that's why I keep jumping between two spots mm, what's in there e. a coin it's not worth taking a shot at. Oh, you can't go above that. Why did I think you could go above that? <laughs> Whoa, I jumped on a fish swimming in the water? I guess it's because I wasn't swimming. It's kind of strange for me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Hammers are despawning off screen, so that worked in my favor. Should I can make that jump right without the platform? I'd like to have a little bit of running room here, though. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Gotta get rid of the truck before it causes endless issues for me. Because <laughs> if I hit it and it follows me through here, I'm gonna have to deal with him and, you know, the other stuff along the way. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Jumped right in the hammer. Yep. Whoa, 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 Oh. Well, I'm glad I got the midpoint. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to fall there, but yet I, I still jumped too close to it. So I was so, so disappointed in myself for a second there. But, oh, oh, I can do this. You've seen me get through the great majority of it already. Nope. Nope. Brain is oh, picking up again. I'm recording this in the same day as the one I recorded yesterday. Nope. Okay. You... By the way, uh, charging chucks, when their hands are on the ground, that's when they jump. When their hands are off the ground, they don't jump. So you can use that to sort of have a little bit of predictability on them, on these kinds of charging chucks. So, yeah. If you, if you never knew how I was able to get past those guys consistently, now you know. <laughs> I should have probably mentioned that earlier, but... Yeah. Oh, no. No. Hammers. Please, hammers. Okay, I know that there's nothing in the box, so... How am I hitting the fish underwater like that? <laughs> that, that this should not be happening. This, I'm, not, I'm not complaining because it's clearly something that can be done. So I'm not cheating the game's physics or something like that, but still. <laughs> I didn't hit the chuck that time, so I could just leave it behind. Mm, yeah, fish that move frantically left to right like that, they pop out of the, the water... Uh, yeah, like that eventually. So you gotta, if you want to destroy them, you gotta time your jumps to wipe them out. Ah, oh, jeez, couldn't get out of the way fast enough. Oh, maybe I could have if I would have ducked towards the inside, not the outside. But it's too late now. Alright, Rex. Alright, Rex. <laughs> See where this is going. Oh! <laughs> Safe! Yeah! <laughs> 
That was an awesome jump. I don't think I've ever done a jump as good as that. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I go back over and around to the ghost house.